Two of the biggest insect problems that we find in corn all across the world are rootworms and corn borers. So today we're gonna to talk about both. Rootworm and corn borer, many farmers think, ah, they haven't been a problem for years for me. Well, maybe not. Not if you've been treating for them all along. And you may not think that you're treating for them, but you are. When we look at the different corn traits that are out there on the market today, like smart stacks, for example, well, it controls rootworms and it controls corn borers. So if you're planting the seed, yeah, you aren't spraying anything foliar anymore. You aren't hiring the airplane to treat corn borers and you're not putting a planting time insecticide out in many cases. It probably feels like you're not doing much, but you have been doing the best control method that we've ever had in the history of the earth. Unfortunately, now we're starting to see some resistance building up with some of these bugs to certain traits. So we're having to assist those traits to control a certain percentage of the bugs that the traits may not get anymore. And we'll talk about that in just a second. Now, if you're switching away from these traits and you say, well, I gotta save some money on seed. I can't afford those traits anymore. I'm gonna go back to conventional corn or straight Roundup ready corn. You're going to find very quickly that corn borers are alive and well and so are corn rootworm. Okay, so Darren left me with many ways to go right now in terms of talking about all these things. Let me start with this. If you're going away from these traits, yes, rootworms and corn borers both can hurt you. So if you're thinking, you know what, I'll just spray an insecticide if I need to. You can certainly do that with corn borers, but you have to scout all the time. And even then, if you don't get that timing right, you have a major issue. Getting the first generation corn borer is probably no big deal. Those show up in my area in South Dakota when the corn is about knee high. So if I'm scouting my field every third day, then I know when to spray that. The problem is with the second generation corn borer. Usually the hatch is very spread out and it's difficult to get the timing just right. Now with rootworm, you can't rescue that at all. So you have to use an in furrow or a T-banded insecticide and you should have pretty decent results. But the trouble with that is you won't get 100% control. With smart stacks, in many cases, you're getting 100% control. Darren mentioned resistance. That's more with the single traded products, whereas smart stacks has two different traits for corn borer and two different traits for rootworm. Well, we're even getting stacks for corn borer now as well. So there, there are just so many different traits out there that are available, it can be confusing. And here's one of the things that I wanna point out. Just talk to your seed provider, know what you're getting. With many of these traits, they may say we have above ground protection, but which insects do you have protection against? Or if a trait says we have below ground protection, as Brian was mentioning, how many different modes of action are there? Because if it's a single mode of action, like on the old VT triples, there's a reason why those products are going away and what's left of them is really, really inexpensive because there's resistance to each one of those single traits. So we don't wanna have those. So make sure you know what you're getting when you're planting seed. The other thing is get out in your fields and take a look late season. I realize we're probably too late for a lot of this in most of the country, but my late season observations that I was making in August and September were that there are more corn rootworm beetles than I've seen in many, many years. That doesn't necessarily mean we're gonna have a huge problem next year, because who knows what winter survival will be, who knows what kind of spring we'll, we'll get. Insects are really tough to, to guess. We, we don't know when we're gonna have a big year or we're not. But I'll just say this, if we see rootworm beetles in the fall, that means we had rootworm larvae in the spring hurting your yields and hurting your root system. So make sure that you're out there in your fields looking for these things throughout the season. As Brian mentioned with rootworm, if we don't protect ourselves at planting with either a trait choice or a planting time insecticide, we're out of options. Well, you also need to protect yourself against our Weed of the Week. We'll show you how to control it coming up next. <music> 